As we continue throughout Southwest Virginia, we're stopping at one of the most popular hiking spots in the state. We're on our way to hike the Devil's Bathtub, but today's hike comes with some red flags. It's basically been severe thunderstorms for the past five days, and according to the weather report, the next week and a half, we're gonna be severe thunderstorms too. Somehow we found the only two day window where it's not raining at all and it's clear skies. What that means is there could still be some flooding. But fingers crossed the streams are pretty low and we can cross them. Oh, and meet Bandit. If you're lucky and you get there early for parking, Bandit might be there to greet you and guide you all the way up to the bathtub. I wanna shout out to the world so they know My sweet baby love me so She got me going yeah, she turns me on Visitors are warned not to attempt the hike after long periods of rain, so we were cautiously optimistic we'd be able to do the hike. There's about 13 or 15 stream and creek crossings, so if it's above knee high, really if it's above calf high, we're probably going to cancel the hike just because it's a little bit dangerous at that point. Are we kind of crazy for doing this? I don't know, <laughs> but we'll see. Some quick things to know about the hike before you go. The entire loop is called Devil's Fork and it's about seven miles long. The quickest way to the bathtub is about four miles round trip. It's marked by the yellow paint. The path is rugged, muddy, and wet. Have shoes with good traction that you don't care about getting dirty. There's also two parking lots to the bathtub. The second parking lot was recently built, but it does add at least a half a mile to your hike. Scotts County Tourism Board was nice enough to leave directions to the bathtub on the board in that parking lot. Moment of truth, here's the first stream crossing. Uh, looks kind of deep, I don't know. Bandit, on the other hand, did not look too concerned about the water level, so we push forward. Made it across the first one, number one. 15 more to go. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it was either. It was about calf high, which is like right where our cutoff was. to go we have crossed the streams about 11 times could be more or less depending on like the path and the route you choose to go back and forth across the creek um but we should be almost there We almost made it to the bathtub, but we're not quite there yet. If you get to this part with the rope swing and the swimming hole, you gotta keep going just a little bit further. What was once essentially a secret is now a popular spot in Virginia. The creek bed is roughly 12 feet deep, and it is kind of shaped like a bathtub, which I guess that's where the name comes about. Scott County Tourism's website claims it allegedly got its name because it's the only water cold enough to squelch the fires of hell. And honestly, the water is really, really cold. Oh my, God. <laughs> my hair looks crazy now. Ha <laughs> ha! 
eyes are cold. They're <laughs> <laughs> <I am> cold. <laughs> difficult parts to get through. Your knees, your crotch, and then your belly button. I got two for three right now. <laughs> Coming during the weekday and being here as early as we are, we've had this whole swimming hole to ourselves for pretty much like an hour or so. There's still no one here and we're still swimming, but it's cold, so we're getting ready to leave. Bandit stayed behind to play with the other guests, so we headed back down the trail. Just wrapped up Devil's Bathtub. Sarah, where does this rank as far as your favorite Virginia hike? Favorite, for sure. This is your favorite? Yeah. Mm, good choice. Also, it was really good that we got here at like 7.38 on Wednesday because we were the only ones on the hike and we had the whole thing to ourselves. And then coming back down, we passed at least 14 different groups. So if you can get here early on a weekday, that's the best time to come. And since we are currently mid road trip on our move to Florida, this is actually our last Virginia adventure for probably a while um and we did this hike at devil's bathtub we were going to do uh, we were going to do white rocks and sand cave but the weather was just not permitting when we had the time so we decided to use the sunny day to hit up this hike and i know we said we'd be showing grace and highlands but we went on the hike when the weather was turning bad and getting really foggy although we did find some evidence none of the wild ponies were out probably hiding out from the storm We might have a few reels from the hike on our Instagram, but we'll definitely have to try Grayson Highlands again sometime in the future. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Really? Yeah. Does it look good or Pull up. am I going to hate it? I mean, you're going to say it. <laughs> yeah!